Welcome back to week four. Uh, we're doing exam prep part five and our discussion for this video is image jump. Uh, image jump only pertains to a multifocal patient. Uh, it's basically the process where when the patient looks from the distance optical center uh, into the reading portion of the lens, um, that the image that the patient is looking at seems to jump up at them. Uh, this happens because of the increase in power or the add power in the multifocal. So that size difference uh, gives our patient uh, some what we would call image jump. Now image jump uh, is fairly simple to calculate uh, we really only need a few very basic pieces of information. Uh, we're going to need the add power of the lens. Uh, the distance prescription uh, makes no uh, difference to us for image jump. We also need to know what we would call displacement. Uh, we often talk about this as decentration. So how far uh, we have to travel uh, within that add power to get to the optical center uh, and then we're able to plug uh, those pieces of information into our apprentice uh, rule. Uh, image jump is a prism that is uh, created um, by moving into the reading portion of a lens. So apprentice rule, uh, that uh, equation for prism uh, is what we're gonna use to calculate image jump. Because again, image jump uh, does equal prism. However, uh, there's not much that we can do about image jump. It's just a part of uh, using a multifocal lens um, but it is important to be able to calculate the amount uh, for ABO purposes. Um, if we are looking at our exam prep guide um, and we're looking at page 15, uh, they've shown us a couple of different types of multifocal lenses. Um, and uh, based on uh, the information we have here, let's go ahead and calculate the amount of image jump uh, for a couple of the examples. Let's get rid of our uh, drawings here and uh, jump into a little bit of the math. For uh, example A, uh, there at the top of the screen, we have our lens. Uh, this particular lens is a uh, round segment and uh, the optical center of that segment is right in the middle of that circle. Now they're telling us that this is a 22 round, which basically just means that if we were to take a measurement across the segment, uh, that, that would measure 22 millimeters across. And because this is perfectly round, uh, the very center of that circle then would be found at uh, 11 millimeters. So from the outside edge to the middle, um, we're actually traveling then 11 millimeters to get there. So this is our amount of travel. Let's go ahead and just use two uh, as our add power in this equation. Um, so our patient's wearing a two add. We're gonna multiply that by the amount of travel to get to the optical center of our segment. And then we're gonna divide that by 10. So here's our apprentice rule. Power times displacement divided by 10 equals the amount of image jump. We'll grab that calculator we're gonna do two times 11 equals 22 divided by 10 gives us 2.2 uh, diopters of uh, image jump. So quite a bit um, as we travel from uh, the edge of that lens to uh, 
the middle of that segment. So with a round segment, uh, because of the design, uh, we do end up with um, a larger amount of movement as we move into the center of that segment. Now if we're looking at example B, same page, This particular segment is just a normal uh, line to bifocal, so, um, but they are using a uh, flat top uh, 22. So a little smaller than um, our normal um, segment. And they're telling us from the line or the top of the segment to the optical center of this particular segment we're actually only traveling uh, four millimeters to get there. That's because in essence, this is that round 22 with the top cut off. So we've got just a little uh, bit of travel then to get to the middle because we've uh, eliminated the top of that circle. We're still gonna say that we're dealing with a two add times uh, the amount of movement to get to the middle of that segment, that optical center of the segment, and we're dividing that by 10. Because again, we're just using Prentice rule. I'm gonna grab that calculator. So we'll do two times four divided by 10 equals 0.8. So this particular lens creates 0.8 diopters of image jump. Just an important piece of information to have uh, and so that we can calculate that as uh, part of an equation if requested.